Good morning, Quadcopter 101, and I do have something pretty dang neat today. I kind of like this. This is the LDARC Tiny 6X. Uh, LDARC, also known as, uh, who are they known as? King Kong, uh, their old name. But uh, the Tiny 6X is a, an upgraded version of their Tiny 6. Now, what is the upgrade? Let's pop it open here and take a look inside here. This, is, by the way, is their advanced version. I want to go over that, too, here shortly. But their uh, Tiny 6X is an upgrade to the Tiny 6. Let's get it out of its box here. And what's neat about it is, folks, is the Tiny 6X uh, is a 65 millimeter quadcopter. The Tiny 6 had six millimeter motors, but the Tiny 6X has larger seven millimeter motors. So it has a lot more oomph. Um, additionally to that, it has a uh, 800 TV line camera with a, a 16 channel 25 milliwatt FPV transmitter. Um, additionally, it's a Seriously Pro Racing F3 flight control board loaded up with Betaflight 3.2.2. It's available in ready to fly and it's also available in bind and fly in a lot of uh, several versions. It's Fly Sky, uh, Free Sky 16 uh, XM, uh, 16 channel Free Sky. Uh, Futaba, two versions of Futaba, FHSS and fast version, and uh, DSM-2. So you can get it in Bind and Fly that. Uh, the version I got is FreeSky XM, 16 channel. Uh, the thing about it though is, you know, uh, here's the receiver and there's the bind button right underneath where you put the battery. Uh, so it's kind of hard to get that, that bind button. What I did was I took a little knife and got a knife edge inside there. I guess you could do the same with a little... Um, micro screwdriver to press that bind button down while you simultaneously plug in the battery to put it into bind mode. But other than that, you know, that is the basic structure of the quad cup. Very tough, feels very strong. You know, this is not real flexible here, <laughs> this uh, particular plastic that they got on it. So it should be uh, pretty tough to crash. This, this is going to be very low momentum. Now, um, things about it uh, that I don't like, it does not have on-screen display, folks. You are going to need to set a timer, and I am going to set my timer on my uh, particular um, transmitter. It has a built-in timer on the uh, jumper. Let's see, anything else that I missed on this? That's about it. Now, what I want to go over is the different versions that this comes in, and this is pretty neat. Now, the basic version, you just get the transmitter, or you get the quadcopter, you get a uh, single battery and you get a single charger. Now I got the advanced version. The advanced version comes with the quadcopter, but you get this box. And this box is what's neat, folks. Um, you know, it's a carrying case for the quadcopter. You get three, and you get three of these batteries. These are HV batteries, 4.35 HV batteries, 4.35 volt, 250 milliamp hours. And you also get this battery meter to measure the remaining battery voltage in your, your batteries, if you want to know. It's just a little strip that with LEDs that light up to show you the different voltages of the battery. But what else is, else is neat about this, and what is most neat about this is, it comes with this multi-charger. Um, this charger can be powered either through a micro USB port or via 2S to 4S battery. Uh, the left side is for the uh, uh, 2S to 4S battery, and if you want to charge with the uh, micro USB port, you use the right side. So, pretty darn neat. Um, these are also set up for charging and for um, HV batteries. If you want to switch it to charging the standard LiPo batteries, you're going to have to solder a uh, connection over these points here to short that to convert it to a uh, standard LiPo battery. So, the way it is out of the box is it's LAHV and if you want to convert one of these to LiPo you're going to have to short these little pins here. So that's about it. That's the battery box and also this advanced version comes with <laughs> three different canopies along with three different sets of props. So you get quite a lot in the advanced version. Now the, there is also a ready to fly version. I don't know about recommending that particular version in that the ready to fly version uh, all you really get is a uh, transmitter and receiver. It's a uh, Futaba, it's kind of a game, uh, gamepad style joystick and receiver. And you only get one battery and one uh, cheap microcharger with that particular version. So, you know, uh, I don't know 
if it's actually worth it. I'd rather go for the bind of flies and use a better transmitter with it. So let's go for a flight of this thing and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, we're going to start off with line of sight flight. Uh, let me pl plug the battery in. Notice the battery comes with these two millimeter MCPX connectors. So, you know, they're, they're kind of a better connector than the little 1.5 millimeters MCX connector. So I like that. Gives a little better contact on the battery. So we're going to start off flying at line of sight and then we'll switch to FPV flying. Now let me set this up. Now this comes set up out of the box uh, ready to, or the bind to fly versions of Betaflight 3.2.2 come loaded up, it's ready to go in angle mode for all switch settings. So what I did was I had to go in there and select angle, acro, and also get air mode set up in there via these three switches here. We're going to start off in angle mode and also the, the arm switch needs to be set up too and that should be armed and ready to go if I turn on the transmitter. <laughs> turn on my jumper and arming and we are ready to go. Let's see how this looks. Now this got a little LED light on the back as you can see here. I got a bit of a breeze so let's see if I can fight that breeze. Oh no problem at all. This thing's got a lot of power. Wonderful little drone. Let me try acro in this thing. Hold on. And acro. In the wind here. <laughs> okay, go back to angle. Is it still in one piece? Arming? Yeah, no problem at all. Kind of hard to fly this little thing because it's so small. <laughs> but there you go. I want to show it to you. Got lots of punch, folks. Tons of power. This is going to be no problem at all flying outdoors for anybody. So let's do that. I'm going to put a new battery, a fresh battery in. Let's go uh, fly some FPV with this thing. So hope you enjoy the second part of this flight. Got it. <laughs> let's go fly some FPV. Okay, let's go for a fly this thing. I got a little bit of a wind here, about three to five miles per hour. This is going to be interesting. Let's see how this little tiny thing does in the wind. I think it's not going to have any problem at all, folks, because this thing's got a lot of power. It seems to have a lot of power. So let's see. Selecting acro, uh, arming, and away we go. Got to pitch it in there, but it doesn't care. Okay, get, the range on it is not spectacular. <laughs> but then again, this is meant for indoor flying, folks. Needs a little bit of pit adjustment there. You know, doing aggressive moves or moves is a, had a little bit of problem. Let's try going up and... <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Let me switch to air mode. Let's go back up again. Again, I'm fighting the wind here. <laughs> I don't know. Go back to acro. So, again, I'm fighting. That wind is picking up. I can see that. <laughs> oh, okay. Land is flat again. Let's take off again, and this time, try it again. Okay. Watching the wind this time. I'm not going to fly too aggressive out here. Because when you change angles in the wind here, it, it kind of flies a little wonky. But there's its reception on its FPV. You know what? Let me try something with the FPV antenna on this. I'm going to plop up its antenna a little bit higher. Let me bring it in closer to me and adjust its antenna. See if that helps you. Hold on, folks. Okay, I raised its antenna up. Let's see if that helps it, Eddie. It's a little wire antenna. That's all it is. So, let me, am I in? Okay, I'm in acro. Away we go. So, you know, as it in, actually, I was flying this indoors last night. I don't want to show you my house. That's why I'm not showing you how, me flying it around indoors. It, it is a good indoor flyer. And outdoors, too. It's, you can go through these hard to, hard to get to places with this thing. Indoors without wind. Outdoors with the wind, it could be a little bit tricky. 
It can be done. <laughs> done with finesse. I forgot to turn on my timer, by the way. <laughs> oh, oh, that time it flipped over. My wife's going to help me there. Okay, I popped a new fresh battery in since I got three of them. Let's go up one more time. Uh, this time, let me set the timer on my controller. Okay, make sure we are armed. Hold on. We are armed. Timer is set. And away we go. Okay, this time, let's see if I can fight that wind properly. Uh, raising that antenna didn't help it much. <laughs> but we are... Oh, that wind is so hit me so hard there. Again, yeah. Outdoor flying, I don't know. You're going to need a windless day. It does have the power to fight it, but it bounces it around so much, the wind. Unfortunately. Going downwind here, I can do this now, going downwind. <laughs> going upwind, it's harder for some reason. I don't know why. This is the way the wind's coming from, going upwind again. Fighting the wind. It's having a hard time fighting the wind. Okay, let's try this way. <laughs> and doing loops and rolls in the wind doesn't seem to be a good idea either. But we are out here. Again, the wind's about five miles per hour, so it seems to be somewhat steady wind. Let's go downwind. Let's see how much speed I can get going downwind. There we go. Whee! Going downwind. <laughs> Coming through there. Let's go through the trees. See if I can get through the trees or ride the trees. Hello there. Going through this tree here. Going that way. I'm going to slalom around this tree here. So the six X, not too bad. Not too bad. I kind of like it. Uh, yeah, it, and it also it is good indoors with no wind. Oh, I see what she's barking at. There's people over there. Let's fly over my dog. <laughs> what you barking at, girl? <laughs> Not you barking at the drone. <laughs> so, good little flyer. The wind's starting to calm down a bit. Maybe I can go up and do something again. Oh, no, no, I didn't like that. The wind must have hit it again. I could, yeah, I'm fighting the wind right now. Getting wobbly up there in the wind. So, yeah, again, mainly indoor flying. Okay, there's my three minute warning on my, whatchamacallit, timer. We're going to call it quits here, folks. If I can get it back here in the wind. Another warning. Time to come home. Yeah, let's land it. Did I? Oh, I missed the pad again. <laughs> so before we before we call it quits, here let me stop the recording on my goggles first. That's important. Don't want to lose that video. Camera DVR. Stop that video, and I'll take that hat back from my beautiful wife. Thank you, my hun. I want to show you something, folks. So you were out in the field, flying around out in the field, and you ran through your set of batteries. What do you do next? Well, you don't have to worry. You can actually charge these things up in the field while you're flying. Let's pick one of these batteries. That one, is that one cool? This one seems to be cooler. If, if I can find it, hold on. You have a 2S to 4S battery. All you do is plug the thing in, like so, and plug the battery let me put it in the shade so you can see this, into the charger, and away you go. You know, again, this can charge up to three batteries using a 2 to 4S battery, and on the right side, you can charge up to three batteries uh, using a uh, micro USB port. Now, using a 2 to, 2 to 4S battery, that's probably going to give you a lot more amperage to charge, so I would recommend having one of these charged up and ready to go while you go out in the field. But then, this can keep you flying. 
But then again, who's going to be flying out in the field <laughs> with this tiny little thing? <laughs> this is mainly meant for indoor flying, folks. So, uh, as you can see from today's flight. So, that's the tiny 6X. Not too shabby. I kind of like it. And again, I like this charger. I, this is neat. This is a neat idea. So, hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out.